course I had, you know, the chef that I really wanted to impress the most eat the absolute worst thing that I had ever made in my life. But then I but then I impressed him later on by making another dish which sort of got me out of the got me into the clear. And so it was really it was very redeeming, but I was I was very freaked out after that happened. I thought, you know, there's no way that no matter if I make the greatest the greatest dish on earth that I can I can make up for the fact that I served him in the chocolate coated chicken liver. So. Any other questions? I actually, what made me decide to try out for the show, I, I had no real intention. I would always joke about trying out for these cooking shows for the Food Network, Next Food Network star. But uh, I had a friend, my friend Lisa, loved the show, and she's like, you know, you should really try out for the show. I think you'd be great for it. I said, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. She sent me all the email information, and I was going to go to this open audition, and I was, I was, I got dressed up for it. I was gonna go, you know, trying to impress them. And then I looked on, on my sheet, and it said that it was the day before, so I had missed the audition. And so then I was like, I wasn't supposed to be there. So, but then for some reason, I thought, let me just make a video and send it in, because you could also make a video and send it. In. So I, made, I went to Radio Shack, had my my roommate at the time. She filmed me, you know making ramen noodles, heating up ramen, it was something really gross, it was just because I, I didn't have time to shop because I really had to send it in, so I just did whatever was in my, my tiny little mini fridge and it ended up being packaged ramen noodles and mayonnaise or something and it was actually really tasty, it's, it's, it's not the point, but I, and then I sent in the video, returned the video camera to Radio Shack because I couldn't afford a $500 camera and uh, they called me back two weeks later saying, you know, we'd love to see more of you, we'd love to interview you, and I went out to Los Angeles, and they did the final, it was about 30 people that went, and 